When Carla asked if I could make the music video for the song Night Full of Rain, my initial response was, well, it should probably be at night and it should probably be raining. Then I thought, how are we going to do that? My daughter Nina and I spent quite a bit of time brainstorming different ways to do this. We decided early on that we wanted to create a video that was one long shot with no edits. One challenge with this approach is to make the video compelling to watch for four minutes while reflecting the mood of the song. After several ideas being thrown around, we zeroed in on the idea of having Carla driving a truck down a dark road during a downpour. The shot would be handheld by Nina from the perspective of a passenger. Since we live in California, we knew we couldn't wait for a rainy night, so I would have to come up with some kind of rain machine. So I strapped a recycling bin in the bed of my truck to hold about 50 gallons of water. I bought a submersible water pump which runs on 12 volts so it could be powered by the truck's battery. I ran wires from the battery into the cab where I rigged an on-off switch. From the pump inside the water tank, I ran a three-quarter inch garden hose up along the racks of the truck where I had clamped a small articulating microphone stand, which had a clamp on the end to hold a sprinkler head. The microphone stand allowed me to fine tune the sprinkler's angle in the apparent wind for the maximum amount of rain to land on the windshield while driving. I had to angle the sprinkler quite a bit forward, otherwise the rain would get completely blown back and no water would land on the windshield at all. Nina and I drove all around Santa Barbara, searching for a location to shoot. We finally found a long road with a dead end. We thought it would be cool to have Carla arrive at this dead end for the end of the video. We knew we wanted the final video to have a slow motion effect, so I time compressed the four minute song down to a three minute song and shot the video at 36 frames a second, which would then be stretched from three minutes back out to four minutes and down to 24 frames a second in post. A few days before the shoot with Carla, Nina and I shot a test of me driving the truck to check our lighting, test the rain machine, test the camera settings, and see if the timing of our starting point and end points would work. It was hard not to laugh because here we were driving down the road with a sprinkler on the top of the truck going full blast. Anyone on the road driving, walking their dog, jogging would get soaked. So we hoped no one would appear during the shoot. Carla arrived about an hour before the time we needed to start shooting. If we shot too early, it would be brighter outside than inside the truck. If we shot too late, it would be too dark outside to see any of the rain on the windshield. Carla's great. She had never driven my truck before, so I gave her a quick rundown, and we also voiced a couple requirements of her during the shoot. Keep the truck moving at an even 15 miles an hour once we hit the starting mark on the road. This will ensure the rain will fall on the windshield and that we will arrive at the dead end by the end of the song. Oh, and try not to have your right hand too high on the steering wheel, otherwise there's gonna be a weird shadow on your face from the low angle lighting we had in the cab. And look around, but don't look at the camera. She had to remember all of this while singing all of the lyrics in perfect sync at a faster than normal speed in a truck she had never driven before during a downpour at night while someone is filming her. <laughs> she nailed it. First take. It's passing through a night full of rain Just a little darkness A storm that's passing through a night full of rain